in the previous segment, I mentioned that sodium iodide is still in high demand. Why is this? Well, actually, it's a very good thing that it is in high demand because it's also a very good thing that it can be manufactured in large quantities and in very large sizes. The sodium iodide can be grown in very large tanks. That means that a lot of material can be produced at any given amount of time. It's readily available and it's available in bulk quantities. Now, the economy of scale in producing it that way reduces the manufacturing costs of sodium iodide. It means that the price of material is reduced. It's making it one of the least uh, expensive scintillators available. Now, it's true that these large volumes, growing in large volumes, it's difficult to ensure that the qualities of the sodium iodide itself is going to be homogenous throughout the entire material volume. So it's the variance in the material that limits its energy resolution. And what I mean by that is the ability to distinguish the difference between the gamma energy measured at a particular value of kilo electron volt from closely spaced energy at higher and lower values of KeV. Sodium iodide is considered to have only a moderate value of resolution at about 6 to 8 percent. On the other hand, sodium iodide can operate and outperform much harder crystals that are, tend to be identified as high resolution crystals. Sodium iodide actually performs very, very well at lower energies, even hard X rays. Its resolution rating is not necessarily a liability. It can be good at some applications, while maybe being a detriment in others. And so over time, there have been many breakthroughs in photomultiplier tube technologies as well. As PMT development becomes more advanced and innovative, it helps to make the most of the native resolution uh, that's, resilient, that, that's resident in most scintillators. Now, it's easy to hit that 6% mark now. The density, the size, the thickness, it all works together to determine the efficiency of the scintillator. A three by three inch volume of sodium iodide has an efficiency rating of 100%. That's the efficiency that almost all scintillators are rated in comparison to is good old sodium iodide. Uh, is it any wonder why it's used in so many applications? Let's look at a few. <laughs> 